check! It's English O'Clock! Ang pag-aaral ng English upang madaling matutunan, bakit hindi natin simplihan? Halika! Manood at makinig sa English Teacher ni Juan! Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na to, huwag kang matakot! I made learning English easy for you! Please like, comment, and subscribe! At pakishare mo na rin sa iba para marami pang mga huwan na gaya mo ang matuto. Good day everyone! Our second lesson for this quarter is about Oral Language, Stance, and Behavior. The target most essential learning competency for this video is using the appropriate oral language, stance, and behavior when giving information, instructions, making explanations, and narrating events in factual and personal accounts. Let's start! Communication is the act of giving, receiving, and sharing information. Ang simpleng pagsasabi ng salita upang makipag-usap sa ibang tao ay isa sa mga uri ng komunikasyon. Kung minsan, may mga taong feeling awkward at hindi ganoon kahusay pagdating sa pakikipag-usap. May mga nauutal, kinakabahan, nahihiya, o di naman kaya ay hindi malaman ang ikilos at sasabihin. Having strong communication skills can help you interact both face-to-face -face and in the online world effectively. Most of the time, when we say communication, we think of speaking orally as one way to communicate, and in speaking orally, we need to use some tools to send the message effectively. Language is one of these tools that we use in oral communication. Now, let's define oral language first. What is oral language? Oral language is the process of utilizing knowledge and skills to speak and listen effectively through the proper use of true-to-life ideas or information, words, and grammar. Oral language is one important skill that students can master both for social and academic success. Learners use this skill throughout the day to process and deliver information, instructions, make explanations, narrate events, and even interact with peers. This skill will give you the ability to communicate effectively. It will allow you to convey your message on a thoughtful and convincing manner. Ang pagsasalita ay isa lamang sa mga mas madaling paraan ng komunikasyon na ating ginagawa sa araw-araw. Sa pakikipag-usap, hindi tayo basta nagsasalita lamang. Kasabay nito, kailangan din nating makinig. Marami pang sub-skills na dapat nating matutunan na madalas natural din naman nating nalalaman. Kagaya halimbawa ng kung kailan ba dapat magsalita ng malakas o mahina, ng may diin o malumanay. Speaking loudly and clearly is also a must, including proper toning of one's voice to achieve oral language fluency. One may use a formal tone to meet and do campaigns an informal tone when talking to friends or relatives, a joyful tone when giving birthday or wedding messages, and a sad tone during eulogies, calamities, and tragedies. Through our language, we can also express what we want or feel. Our facial expressions and body movements can convey our thoughts or feelings. Thus, both the speaker and listener must possess qualities or characteristics to deliver and receive the message with clarity, accuracy, and conciseness. Having a solid foundation in oral language helps you become successful communicators and builds your confidence and overall sense of well-being. How can you do this? These are some tips that might help you to be good at it. First, think before you speak. Second, be clear and concise. Third, speak with confidence. Fourth, vary your vocal tone. Fifth, maintain eye contact. 
6. Think about your audience. Now, there are four types of communication that you need to know. And these are those. 1. Verbal communication utilizes the spoken word either face-to-face -face or remotely. It is essential to most interactions. 2. Nonverbal communication provides some insight into speaker's word choice. These things are often communicated through facial expressions, hand gestures, posture, and even appearance, all of which can convey something about the speaker. 3. Visual communication includes signs, maps, or drawings, as well as color or graphic design. Visual aids can help a speaker remember important topics, give the audience something to look at, and generally help convey it. 4. Written communication is writing, typing, or printing symbols like numbers to convey information. Now, let's talk about the term stance. What does it mean? The stance is the manner and position in which a person stands. What is a good stance? Keep a good posture when speaking. Stand straight with shoulders back, relaxed, and feet shoulder width apart. Have some movements like using your hands and feet like walking and others, but don't pace or fail your arms like you are helping an airplane park. Do not cross your arms, put your hands in your pocket or slouch. Face the audience as much as possible and keep your body open. Appropriate behavior refers to how you act and deliver a text through different facial expressions such as happy, sad, angry, surprised, and afraid. And body language like maintaining eye contact, showing good posture and smile, using hand gestures, tilting your head to one side. Characteristics of good speakers They have eye contact with the audience. They pause before and after important ideas. They have a good posture. They are confident, relaxed, and energetic. They have a conversational tone. They have speech organization. They have a main idea like good points. So again class, hindi lang basta pagsasalita ang dapat matutunan. Dapat ding isaisip kung paano magsasalita ng naiintindihan at naipararating ng malinaw ang gustong iparating na mensahe sa taong kinakausap. Minsan, it's not just about the words you speak or the words that come out of your mouth. It's how you say the words that matters. Kahit sabihin mong mahal mo, pero galing naman sa ilong. Kahit sabihin mong hindi ka natatakot, pero ang lakas naman ng katog ng iyong tuhod. O kahit sabihin mong masaya ka, pero di naman halata sa bukas ng iyong mga mata. You will still fail to express what you truly mean because you won't be believable. Believe me. You have to speak and act or behave accordingly to be able to communicate effectively. So did you learn something today? Sure ako na hindi ka na nosebleed. If you want more of this video tutorial and learn English in a light speed, huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe at turn on ang notification button para updated ka sa mga bagong lessons. Ako ang teacher mo, ang English teacher ni Juan. Class dismissed. See ya!